How's it going guys? It's Paradise and we have another Monster Hunter video for you today. This is another farming video. We're out here, we're checking the methods, we're testing the ways to get these items as easy as possible. Right now the Hero King coin is needed to upgrade the Guild Palace weapons. I know they look super cool, they got loads of water damage on them, a good chunk of raw as well. They're pretty fun weapons so far, but you need these freaking arena coins to upgrade them. Luckily, it seems to be that you only need one coin per upgrade, and these quests will give you anywhere between one and three on completion. So if you're trying to get every weapon, you're going to have to do a few arena quests, but if you're just trying to upgrade your main one, you will probably only have to do one successful hunt in the arena. Guys, can you in the comments tell me if you like the arena quests or not? I personally want to use my own set, my own mix set, my own weapons. I don't want to have to use some pre-made thing with pre-made items. I like I like farming, I like going in with my own stuff. But guys, please tell me in the comments, do you guys love the arena? Do you hate the arena? I want to know what you guys think. And while you're at it guys, a like and a subscribe if you haven't already really helps the channel out. Drop a like on the video, hit subscribe if you want more content like this. So the quests that drop the Hero King coin are going to be the Arena Master Quest 6, that is a Zenoga, as well as the Arena Master Quest 7, which is going to be a regular and a brute Tigrex together. Since we're talking about Tigrex, can you guys in the comments tell me whether it's Tigrex or Tigrex? Because it seems like everyone has a different opinion on this. So this Arena Quest number 6 and 7, the Zenoga and the double Tigrex, they are quite a pain to do both solo and with a duo partner. Not impossible and you know if you're very familiar with the monster you're not going to struggle too much and you can go ahead and do that and you'll get your tokens no problem. But if we go into the challenge quests these ones are on a rotation. There's a Yangaruga quest that is really quite nice to do one that's up. Unfortunately right now as of this video it has actually rotated out. Right now we have a Velcana and a Namiel as our options. I personally am not a big fan of fighting Velcana so I wouldn't recommend doing that one either. However Namiel is probably the easiest Elder Dragon to fight so I would definitely recommend going into the Namiel quest. There's a pretty nice charge blade loadout if you guys know how to use the charge blade that just completely destroys this thing and it seems like you get two or three Sometimes if you're unlucky you might get one Hero King coin, but from our experience Namiel was the easiest farm right now. You just go in there, slay it with the charge blade and you're pretty much golden. You're going to be able to upgrade those Guild Palace weapons in no time. There is a double Anjanath hunt right now, however it wasn't dropping these Hero King coins for us. Do let me know in the comment section if our testing just got unlucky or if it is in fact a master rank requirement. From the looks of it, Considering that it is only the quest 6 and 7, the Zenoga one being the lowest master rank at 24, these Namiel and Volcana ones being 23, it looks like 23 master rank requirement arena missions might be the lowest needed to actually get the Hero King coins to drop, as we didn't see it in either the double Anjanath or the double Otter Garen arena quest. So it seems like Namiel is the best one, I definitely recommend giving it a go, it's a really fun hunt as well, just watch out for that big dive bomb attack. A couple tips for you guys when you're in the arena, do your yeets as much as possible, that's where you pick up some stones, jump on his face and shoot him into a wall for a knockover. You can get two of those per enrage if you don't turn him too often, you can also get sleep wake up yeets as well but that is going to require you having the sleep status. Outside of that go for the mount as much as possible and just try and kill it as quick as possible so that you can get the A rank rewards and get some more coins. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments if you like or dislike these arena quests and if you're going to be doing them anyway so you can upgrade your guild palace weapons. Drop a like if you haven't already and this video helped you guys out. Subscribe for more. I hope you're all having a great day guys and I'll see you next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.